Hello everyone, I am Interact. This is XCOM 2 War of the Trainwreck. Welcome back. We still need to get more engineers and... Okay. Putting it on screen now. Um... Made considerable progress. Hey, we did well. Neat. Past month. Let's see what the Chosen have done. That's a lot of knowledge. Don't want to reveal the hidden event. Instantly adding one. I probably want to counter this. Let's reveal this. Increasing the cost of recruits. Okay, well, it wasn't worth it in the end. But I'm probably going to get rid of the Avatar project. Bang. Um, we still want double resource rewards. Rewards. We would love to increase our influence, but we don't have the resistance ring yet. I'm working with the resistance factions on their covert yeah. operations. Okay. A major boon to our efforts, but there are also risks involved. Our soldiers um, could potentially be attacked or could find the Templars. So it's not as easy a decision as it may seem. Or we could try hunting. If we switch up our tactics, maybe we should try something new. 17 ability points is big. But let's try hunting. Who do we have that's... We'd have to send out Draganova? Look at all of our just... Tired and wounded people. I think we're gonna wait on that for like one day. Maybe six days even. I don't know. Just so we have someone else to send as a sergeant. Okay, alien debris is clear, which means we can build the resistance ring that we really need to build. Or do we need to build Proving Ground? Um, I think we need Resistance Ring more than we need Proving Ground, so we'll do that. And we really need this Engineer more than anything. Let's, let's do this Covert Action, though. Um, now that we have other people available, let's send in... We have two Rangers, so let's send in this Ranger. And we'll, someone gets one HP extra. Um... Let's send mocks for that, and we will negate the risk of, well, there's a risk of wound and ambush. Yeah, let's, re let's not have it get ambushed, please. Uh, we'll send one of our grenadiers. Send them out on that. Alright, give me this engineer, please. Thank you so very much. Supply drop available, I know. Let's go get the supply drop, because we have, like, no supplies. Oh, goodness. Okay, and we get our gorilla targets. All right, what do we got? Counters that one. This counters the recruit. Wait, I can't target the breakthrough. So that one gives us an engineer. This one gives us a bunch of supplies. Um, and we need to destroy the alien relay. Because this gives us an engineer, I think that's the one that we're going to do. I don't remember if you can ignore them and then go back, and I don't believe you can, so we're going to just kind of worry about just getting the engineer while we can. Got a random squatty. Do we have an actual specialist who has actual abilities? Okay, so you do have medical protocol. So we can give you the med kit and you can actually heal us. Uh, we can upgrade your weapon, but I don't think we want to do that. Just yet. Well, let's see what we actually have weapon upgrades wise. What do we have? Stint mobility? I think we want to give um, the mobility to the ranger? I'm thinking the ranger's probably the one that needs the most mobility here. I might give it to... Uh, it's considered either him or Draganova. Extended magazine. Okay, extended magazine definitely needs to go to Draganova. Because the Reaper weapons have, like, the most garbage capacities humanly possible. You're... another ranger? Do we have someone that, like... I think we probably want to bring... a grenadier? Yeah. And then... we don't really have anything other than, like, 
Oh, we have flashbangs. We can get, have you have a flashbang. You have a grenade. I mean, you should be. St are you are you the pistol person or are you the actual rifleman? No, you're the pistol person. So you having a grenade is actually fine. Eh, we could just give you a nano skill, whatever. And then let's launch it like that. That seems fine. And then let's fly, fly away. I might be able to get um, a second level in, like squad in, ooh, in the pipe. That's the good, the good voice line, the lucky voice line. We might be able to get the increased squad size from the guerrilla tactics because we have a lieutenant. Or do you need a higher level than that? I don't remember. And neutralize all enemy targets, destroy the alien transmitter. Sure. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Yes, I know how it works. Central. I know how it works. And we have stealth, whatever, so it doesn't actually start until we break stealth. So we have, yeah, stealth insertion, there we go. So we have a little bit of time to work with here. Where is Dragon? There we go. Okay. Moving out. And let's look at the confines of the map. Alright, so we're basically in the bottom corner. It goes really far to the left. And not very deep, though. So we shouldn't have but maybe... I'd say five enemy squads tops. As you order, Commander. There's stuff under this. There's a down area, so let's keep that. We don't see anything just yet. We don't want to do what we did last time and pop like 7,000 squads at once and lose multiple units. That would be terrible. Let's have you move over here so we can get sight of like this area. Okay, so there might be people in the building. That's possible. But I'm not seeing anything yet. You are the doctor? Yes. Go, yes, go, yes, go. yes, you are the doctor. And you are the grenadier, okay. So let's just keep, I think we maybe stick to this bridge for a bit, because it gives us a high ground advantage. And hope that we can run into something before it runs into us. I'm on the move. There could be things under the bridge. Like, there is space down here that they could, you know, be in. So I, I need to be aware of that. Uh, let's not go all the way up. Just in case there was something at the end of the bridge waiting for me. You still can't see all of the bridge, huh? Let's have you go on this side so we can see what's going on over here. Still nothing. Okay, I'm not really feeling too confident about this. I hate the fact that I haven't found anything yet. That would be risky to move her all the way over here. I think we keep her up here because she's a sniper and maybe move one of like the rangers down there. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe move our Grenadier over there. What if we move him here and see if he can see anything extra? You can see down there a little bit. Let's move you back. Just wanted to get some sight below this bridge so I know that they're not right below me, just waiting for me to jump down. Okay, there we go. There's a, at least a spot of a patrol. So you know that there's some action around the... I'm, I'm not surprised by that at all. They typically patrol the area around the objective. Hmm. This is risky, but she can re-stealth if she does get revealed. Anything? Just that patrol, huh? And nothing else just yet. So let's have you post up over here. Also, she has uh, basically like greater stealth. Like, yeah, you can see if anyone else had tried to make that move, they might have been spotted. 
almost instantaneously. Let's have our ranger move down here and make sure we're fine and we're not getting flanked from behind. All right, we look looks good to me. Let's have you move up a little bit more. Okay. You're a sharpshooter, so we definitely want you posted way up here. I will move down a little bit more, make sure we're not... I don't think we're missing anything on the bridge. Okay, cool. Heading there now. Specialist we want to keep in the back. Let's have you overwatch in, King, in case things just go like super sideways for some reason. And the Grenadier... We can have the Grenadier move down as well. I'm really not feeling only seeing one one patrol of enemies right now. Okay, there we go. At least we see two now. Enemy squad located. Only seeing one is really, really not what I want to see. I would love to see more than just a single patrol of enemies. I know that there's more than just these two, obviously. They're like always is. But I would rather know that there is instead of having to rely on... Could remote start that. Anything over there by them? No. So this does not actually deal... This doesn't reveal stealth. And it would kill that guy, probably. And it does, doesn't does reveal the Reaper, so we're gonna do that. Oh, I maybe should have seen if it hit her. It gets rid of her cover, but it doesn't hit her. So now they start panicking, but they still won't know where we are. Which is the important thing. Okay. It's important to remember that they do not know where we are. Yet. I don't know if those guys are actually on alert or not. Hmm. It's hard to argue with taking this shot here. It reveals us from stealth, but it could take out a priest. The problem is priests have stasis chambers. I think I take it, though. Please crit and kill him without the stasis going off. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So we've taken out one pack without them even seeing us. I don't know if these guys are going to spot us. They pro Yeah, they probably will. Okay, that's fine. This is an extremely well-equipped mechanized combat unit. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities. Alright, so that's going to go off, which is nice. Problem is he has armor. We he's sitting next to a uh, car. Which means that our grenadier here... Can blow him pretty much sky high, I believe. Hopefully this blows him sky high. It should do enough damage. Yeah, there you go. Alright, cool. So we've taken out three of them without even being... Without taking any casualties or anything. Still got this height advantage, which is giving us a little bit, a little bit extra. Let's take the shot. Alright, good, he landed it. So we've basically almost taken out two patrols without even being touched. Basically. Almost. Which is nice. He's gonna try and mind control. Hopefully he can resist the mind control. He did not resist the mind control. Shocking. And we've lost sight on this guy somehow. Let's have her post up. She doesn't see the objective from here? Are you serious? Okay, well I guess we'll wait then. I'm pretty shocked that she doesn't see objective from there. Let's have you move over here so you can see this sectoid and pop him. Please land the 54. Oh, thank goodness. I really need my grenadier back. Not for any reason other than, like, I don't want him to be mind control. 
Let's have him move up. I'm... Mm, let's have her move right here. So we see objective. Do we see anything else here? We don't have neutralized all enemy targets, like, covered out, so there's definitely still units here. It is clear. I just don't know where they are, so I think we're just overwatching. And we're waiting for them to come to us. How much does the Claymore do? The Claymore does 8. And it doesn't actually reveal the Reaper when, when she shoots it, so... We'll use the Claymore to break it. Where is our evac? Do we have an evac yet, or am I supposed to call evac? Um, maybe I'm doing this mission incorrectly. Maybe I have no idea what's happening. What 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 is going on right now? Um, yeah, I'm a little confused here. I mean, I there's more enemies on the ground, right? Maybe I just need- maybe I need to take out the reinforcements. I'll have Draganova go hunt and try and figure out, like, where exactly the rest of the people are. But for now, I think I'm just gonna try and clear out these reinforcements with a bunch of overwatches that hopefully go off properly. So we got- pretty sure I saw a priest in there. Priest and two basic troopers. Okay. Hopefully we can take out the priest with the overwatches. Advent forces on the ground. Take out the priest. Oh. I think he's dead based on the way that animation worked. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, so let's slice this boy up. Give him a good dicing. Just squat side flank from there. Uh, we're pretty much hoping that this flank shot works. It should? Okay, cool. He's gotta reload. Let's have people start moving up. I guess let's have Draganova go figure out where the heck the rest of these aliens are. There we go. Okay, so can we remote start anything right next to them? Nah, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Let's just have you wait for now. This gives you squad sight on them. I don't think I want to move anyone into the actual storefront for risk of being actually spotted. So I think I'm just going to overwatch for now. They might patrol- yeah, they're going to start patrolling towards me. Which is fine. Okay, so now we can- Do we have a remote start on them? I think we do. Right? They're standing next to a car? They're not standing close enough to the car? Darn it. See, she's got to have some high cover. There we go. I was going to say, she's got to have some high cover somewhere where she can take a good shot here. 89 and an 88. Hmm. He's gonna get spotted by this viper. If he moves like that. Obviously, I mean, why wouldn't he, right? So let's have him run and gun. 
And then move right here where he has a flanking shot on the Viper. I don't know if they see him before he gets to shoot or what. Yeah, they get, they're gonna move, aren't they? I believe. Yeah, so they get to move to cover, which is fine, because this guy just moved to a remote started area. And I actually don't remember, did I put Dragonova on Overwatch or did I... No, I left her open. Good. Smart of me. Now we can remote start this truck and hopefully take out this mech. Perfection. That's what I like to see. We basically need to kill this guy right now. Hold on, actually. Who's your squad mate? Alright, give him an extra move. And he might be able to slash this viper to death. Maybe. It's possible. No. I mean, actually, I don't think it was possible. It's like, maybe if he crit? I don't even think him critting is possible, so... So you move right there. You need to reload. You're probably just not gonna be in this fight, honestly. And you don't have a shot... Oh, you do have a shot from over here. It's probably gonna be really bad, but... 47? I might as well... Maybe I should've flashbanged him. Never mind, it worked out. Cool. And he's gonna grab the loot. Hey, that was all the hostiles. It was really just the three and then the reinforcements. Cool. So we're, we're learning. Which is important, I guess. We must never. never. Allow Don't allow them. Don't, no. You can't allow it, Mr. Speaker. Go away, though. Okay, Speaker, no one likes you. This part is so loud. Oh, hey, promotion, nice. Haywire Protocol or Revival? Wait, do you not have... You do have Medical Protocol, right? Oh, that's grayed out because you picked this one. Okay, yeah, so let's give him, um... As much as I want Haywire Protocol, I think I'm gonna give him Revival Protocol and just have him kind of be the medic. We got Illyrium Core, nice. Those are always important. You and your crew got another engineer, which is also very important because today, Commander. holy crap, we really needed engineers. And we need an engineer to clear out some debris for us. It's gonna take a while, but I think we excavate with our two engineers. It only takes 10 days actually, so that's not actually too bad. We have tech psionics about to go off, so we can wait on that. And let's finish off this supply drop. Get some more rookies, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna get these supplies and then probably just be done with it. There we go, there's psionics. So I think that means, yeah, we can build the Psy Lab now and start getting Psy Ops, which is good. Laboratory construction. Reduce the overall cost of laboratory construction. Eh, whatever. I think I want plated armor more than I want that. And then I think I need to... Let's see what we can buy at the Guerrilla Tactics School. Okay, we need a captain for that. Never mind. We should be able to buy new weapons now, though, correct? Please? Better weapons? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, we want definitely, like, the things that we use more frequently first. Um, over, like, Temnotic Rifle and the Bullpup, but maybe we want those, I don't know. These are pretty expensive. Let's get the, uh, the Mag Cannon. That's where I think I'll call it. Got some stuff going on, get clearing things up. We finally got our engineers. Everything's going smoothly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy it, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more in the future. Once again, I do appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next episode. Where maybe we can actually stop getting everyone killed. Goodbye.